Well, Democrats are trying to prevent Republicans from using a federal mortgage settlement to fill additional budget shortfalls. $25 million will help us balance the budget. The settlement was clearly intended to help families who had been devastated by this foreclosure crisis. The Joint Finance Committee today approved more than $120 million in cuts, meanwhile arguing over how $25 million from a federal foreclosure settlement should be used. Closure Governor Walker has proposed using the money to fill to a budget gap. If that's what the settlement was for, they would have said, go ahead and use it to fill your budget holes. But that's not what the settlement was for. The settlement was clearly intended to help families who had been devastated by this foreclosure crisis. Where else would we get the money? I mean, do we want to cut Badger Care? Do we want to cut K-12 education? Do we want to cut Medicaid? Um, we don't have a lot of choices here. Representative Mason has proposed a bill that would prevent lawmakers from using that money for the budget. No word on when a vote will be taken. On your side at the Capitol, Lacey Crisp, today's TMJ4.